and I would just like to congratulate you all. Um, you have reached this particular uh, video tutorial and this is actually the last part for our video tutorial series on progressive web apps. So in this video, we're going to uh, work with our um, database and uh, I would like to suggest also in this particular video, I would like to suggest ad uh, additional features that you might want to, in to explore by yourself. Um, but yeah, this is the conclusion of our PWA video tutorial series and in this video also we're going to uh, to be able to persist the offline data of our application or the progressive web app. Now, basically, um, we have this particular uh, web page right here and um, this is the overall um, look of our PWA application. Now let's, uh, because this is um, not dynamic, as I've said from the previous tutorial, this is a static um, information. So we want to remove this from the UI whenever our PWA is starting. So let's go open up our um, application, uh, I mean the source code of our application and inside index.html we, we will see here the static information being added to this particular um, div right here or this particular div okay um, contacts with uh, I mean the class um, contacts right here so we're adding the contacts into this particular div. Okay, so we have here the first one and the second one. So let's just, for now, let's just um, comment this one out. And also this one, because we don't want to display this whenever our app is loading. So save that and let's go back into our browser and let's um, hard reload our application so currently we don't have the um, information right here it's because we don't have uh, any uh, contact added into our database so if we click on this add we should be able to add a new contact so for example John Doe and some run random um, contact numbers okay and then add so as you can see here you have newly added or you have a new contact added into our database and this is persisted or i mean this is uploaded into our firebase database okay um, we don't want to add a new document let's just view this one and we have here the jando added into our database and of course you could add a new one for example cesar um, maybe, um, I don't know, um, Greg, um, Odin, and then new um, number, and then add the new contact. So take note of the contact name, and it should be added right here inside our database, Firestore database. Greg, Odin, and of course the added number. Now, um, you could also add another one just to test the delete function as delete and then um, some random numbers also and of course we could delete this okay so let's just check first if it is present inside our Firestore database and um, okay test delete with the numbers now um, we could delete this okay Click on that and we should be uh, able to delete, delete that also inside our Firestore um, database. So as you can see, there are two actions being um, like taken by the user, um, adding and deleting a contact and all of this information are being persisted into our Firestore database, right? now. What happens if our browser goes offline? Okay, uh, we want to add 
a feature that even if it is offline, the, the user should be able to add a new contact. And later on, if the browser goes online again, you should be able to, um, you know, persist this data into our Firestore database because currently we don't have that kind of functionality. So that's why we need to add that. And in order for us to add that, let's open up our VS Code and open uh, specifically the db.js file. And before uh, listening to the real-time updates of our contacts database, let's just um, add a new you know, logic right here. And basically, we're going to use the db object or db um, variable and enable persistence. Okay, enable persistence, and then we're gonna add a catch method right here, a function, and then it's going to have a parameter, or I mean the return, um, and then if we're gonna check that particular return, if that particular return code um, equals um, failed per condition okay um, uh, it just means that probably uh, this particular application is open at multiple tabs at once okay now what we could do is console.log and then Persistence, you can say here persistence failed. Okay, otherwise, else if error code equals um, unimplemented, and then yeah, open and close through the braces, and let's say here. Um, not uh, browser support because there are browsers that um, don't you know support the capability of persistence um, also progressive web apps so you have to be mindful of that and let's say console.log and then um, persistence not supported okay so there you have it um we are enabling our d database to have um a persistence capability so whenever or even if the browser goes offline the user could still add a new contact and whenever the browser goes online again then the record should be uploaded into the Firebase database or Firestore database that we have online. Now, uh, let's just check this. Let's um, reload our app. Okay. And say, for example, inside our application, uh, we turn this to offline. Okay. Okay. Still, we have the output of our application, okay? And then let's try to add a new record. So for example, this is um, Jane Doe, and then random numbers for the contact number, and add contact. So what you could, what you could see here is the newly added contact, right? But here, um, we, are seeing this Jane Doe. So I think this is not completely offline. But yeah, um, this should work even if the app is offline. And it's going to save the information locally. And then if the user or if the, if the browser detects that the device has like an internet service or internet data, then the information will be uploaded into our database okay so um by turning this or uh, by checking this particular button offline it should 
convert our app or I mean um, it disables the internet connection right so um, whenever we add a new contact right here we should be able to save this locally and add the information uh, to the Firebase, uh, Firebase database whenever the device is online. Okay, I think basically that's all there is to it in this particular video tutorial series for progressive web apps. Okay, and um, as you can see here, we have added the offline capability whenever the um, user tries to add a new contact offline, then it should be able to uh, sync that into our cloud store or cloud firestore database online so again guys thank you for watching and thank you for following this particular video tutorial series and i hope you learned something especially um, about progressive web apps and actually there are a lot of features that you might want to explore uh, on your own so for example if the user clicks on this and add a new contact then um, you could try to close the form okay so currently the form is not closing right so you might want to explore a uh, explore how to close this particular form when the user tries to add a new contact and of course if you want you can also implement a alert for example the user tries to click on this one it should um, try to warn the user that you are deleting an information or a sensitive information and uh, just try to check if the user wants to go through that process of removing the, the contact okay so if you click that uh, currently this is automatically deleted uh, from our database okay so I am challenging you to add in to add a new feature that will ask the user if he if you really want to delete a particular record inside our Firestore database so I think that's all there is to it guys thank you for watching again and if you are new here in our YouTube channel and you like content about programming different programming uh, languages like Python um, Java C sharp uh, Visual Basic and other um, related programming languages. Um, you could follow along or you can follow our YouTube channel by subscribing and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload um, regarding or about programming. So thank you again and see you in the next video tutorial series.